salts Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, the station where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Mr. Mangi Francis, taking you through chemistry form 2. And please do pay attention throughout the lesson. So what are the goals of this lesson? By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to explain trends across period 3, such as variation in atomic size across the period, electrical conductivity, melting point and boiling point across the period and the nature of oxides across the period so period in a periodic table a period basically refers to uh, we we get the number of occupied energy levels so if we have uh, three occupied energy levels that gives us period three if we have one occupied energy level that is uh, period one so in this case we are going to refer to period three and members are sodium, magnesium, aluminium, uh, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, and algon. As you can see, we, uh, as you can see, we also have period two, where we have rhythm, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and neon. Uh, so those are the, as you can see from this table, there are solids and we have gases. We have solids in period three, as well as we have uh, gases. That is the physical uh, properties. Now let's look at atomic size across the period. Sodium, metal, uh, we have magnesium, we also have aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, and we also have argon. So across the period, as you can see from this illustration, the atomic size decreases. What makes atomic size to decrease across the period? Across the period, there is an, an increase in the nuclear charge. That is the force of attraction of the positively charged nucleus increases due to increase of the number of protons. The number of energy levels remains the same across the period. And due to increased nuclear charge, uh, atomic size decreases across the period. Let's look at electrical conductivity across the period. The first three elements are metals, having sodium, magnesium, and aluminum. Electrical conductivity increases up to aluminum, which is the best electrical conductor, since it has more derocarized electron than any of the three. But from the silicon and phosphorus, as you can see from this graph, they are semiconductors. They conduct best under certain conditions. But from uh, sulfur, chlorine, and algal, they don't conduct electric electricity at all. So the, the metals which we have mentioned, they have derocarized electrons which allow electrical conductivity. So melting point across the period. As you can see, the melting point increases up to uh, silicon, which has got a... a a giant atomic structure with very strong covalent bonds. So to break the bonds, it requires a lot of energy and therefore increase in the metallic, uh, in the melting point. But phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, and argon, basically the force of attraction between the molecules is weak van der Waals forces, which requires very less energy for them to be uh, broken. Therefore, very low melting point reactivity across period three reactivity of metals decreases across the period that is sodium is the most reactive as we go to magnesium and aluminium is rest reactive that is in that metals but that when that it that comes to non-metals right right so to me a chlorine a chlorine and is the most reactive non-metal oxides of element in period three Elements in period 3 react with oxygen, forming oxides of their respective elements. Oxides of sodium and magnesium react, forming alkaline solutions. Oxides of non-metals dissolve in water, forming acidic solutions. Aluminium oxide, on the other hand, although it is a metal, is referred to as amphoteric. Why? It has both acidic and basic properties. Now, did we get to understand the concept of this lesson? 
uh, uh, state or select the most reactive element from period 3. Give a reason for your answer. Set with reason the best electrical conductivity of the elements in period 3. Now, define the term amphoteric and list two elements apart from armenium whose oxides are amphoteric. You can refer to the book 30 Secondary Chemistry Students Book 2 or most importantly, give us a text or visit our YouTube or Facebook at Erimu TV page or tweet us at Erimu TV underscore KE. Once again, your tutor Mr. Mangi Francis, please pay attention for more lessons to come.